good day. In this video is our second video on cyclic quadrilateral riders. Before we start, we quickly have to look at the two theorems we use in cyclic quadrilaterals. Firstly, we know the opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral are supplementary. It means they add up to 180 degrees. Angle A plus C will be 180 degrees, that's the two purple ones. And angle B plus angle D will be 180, that'll be the two red ones. The second theorem says an exterior angle of a cyclic quadrilateral is equal to the interior opposite angle. That means that exterior red angle will be equal to the opposite interior red angle. That exterior blue angle will be equal to the opposite interior blue angle. Here is our first rider. We have a circle. In it we have a cyclic quadrilateral. We have a diameter going through O, the center. And we have, in other words, a 90 degrees over here, angle in a semicircle. Do not think that you only need a cyclic quad in a full circle. It can also lie in half a circle. There's still a quadrilateral, and it's a cyclic quadrilateral. We will start by saying R plus 50 degrees equals 180 degrees, opposite angles of a cyclic quad. Then we will minus the 50 from the 180, and we'll get R equals to 130 degrees, which we write in on the sketch. Then we can see that Q is equal to 90 degrees, angles in half a circle. The red triangle, you can see there, there's the diameter, so it must be 90 degrees. Then we can add up the angles in this triangle and say S plus Q plus 50 degrees equals 180, interior angles of a triangle. Then we know Q is 90 degrees, the 50, and we don't know what S is, is equal to 180. Then we know S equals to 40 degrees, we minus the 90 and the 50 from the 180. And I always like to write my numbers in on my sketch. Here is our next rider. We have a circle, we have a cyclic quadrilateral inside of it, and we have a diameter running through the center, going through O, the center. Then we know that angle L is equal to 90 degrees, angles in half a circle. There's my diameter, and it's an angle in half circle. Now we can go into triangle ILK, the red one. There we know that 3A plus 2A plus 90 degrees will add up to 180 degrees, interior angles of a triangle. Then we will minus the 90 degrees from the 180 and add the A's. Then by dividing the 5 into the 90, we'll get A equals to 18 degrees. Here again, we have a circle with a cyclic quadrilateral inside of it. We have an exterior angle over here. We know that this angle is equal to that angle and we know that these two add up to 180. We will start by saying small a equals 112 degrees, exterior angle of a cyclic quad. So that angle is equal to that angle over there. Then we know that the small b and the 93 will add up to 180 degrees, reason opposite angles of a cyclic quad. Then you will minus the 93 degrees from the 118, you'll get b equals to 87 degrees. I like to write it in on my sketch. In this next rider, we now again have a circle. We have a cyclic quad sitting inside the circle, and we have an exterior angle here at C. On top of that, we have parallel lines that we will use. Firstly, we can see that angle J is equal to the small c. Corresponding angles, FJ parallel to GI. Because the two lines are parallel, the corresponding angles will be equal. Then we know that this angle at J plus the 80 degrees will equal to 180, opposite angles of a cyclic quad. Then we minus the 80 from the 180, then we get angle J is equal to 100 degrees, and that is equal to C. So we find found the value of C. Be careful now on the next rider. We sew into cyclic quadrilaterals. We just want to quickly say that that D and the 150 will add up to 180, but it won't. This guy is not sitting on the circumference. This is not a cyclic quad. We're first going to work out the size of that angle over there, the red one. I then wrote reflex angle BOC, so BOC, the reflex angle over there, is equal to 210 degrees, angles around a point. So you take the 150, you minus it from 360, and then you'll get the 210. In the place of writing reflex BOC, you can also number these angles 01 and 02. Then we know that 210 is twice as big as that angle there, so we write 210 degrees is equal to 2D, Angle at center is 2 times angle at circumference. Stop the video and just catch on to this. Then we divide by 2 on both sides and we get D equals to 105 degrees, which I like to write in on my sketch. 
in this rider, we now have a circle again with a cyclic quad with an exterior angle of 106 degrees, which will be the same as that G. We also have parallel lines, which we can use. Like I said, that angle G is equal to 106 degrees. G is equal to 106, exterior angle of a cyclic quad. Then we know because these two lines are parallel, G plus I is equal to 180, co-interior angles AE parallel to BC. We know that G is 106 degrees, so we just minus 106 from the 118, we know I equals to 74 degrees. Now we know that I plus H will add up to 180 degrees, opposite angles of a cyclic quad. Then we know H equals to 106 degrees, we just minus the 74 from the 180, and we have the value of H. Now for the last rider of this video, again we have a circle, and inside it we have a cyclic quadrilateral, we have an exterior angle of a cyclic quadrilateral sitting here. They're asking us to work out the value of small j and small k over there. Remember, you also have a diameter over here with an angle in a semicircle, which means that's 90 degrees. Still is a cyclic quad, like I said, even if it lies on a piece of a circle. We first write angle A is equal to 68 degrees, exterior angle of a cyclic quad. So the exterior angle of a cyclic quad is equal to the opposite interior angle. Now we go into triangle ABE, the red triangle you see there. We know that angle B is equal to 90 degrees, angle in half a circle. Then staying in that red triangle, we say angle A plus angle B plus a small k is 180, interior angles of a triangle. We don't have to write this, but we know that A is 68 and B is 90 degrees. So we minus these two numbers from 180, then we get small k equals 22 degrees. Then we know small k plus small j equals to 68 degrees, alternate angles because AE is parallel to BD. I drew in the z there for you, so that 68 is equal to that 22 plus the j. Because k is 22 degrees, I can minus it from the 68 and I get j equals to 46 degrees. Please stop the video and you see if you can see what happened. Please indicate whether you liked or disliked the video. You can also subscribe to the channel. If there's anything you're unsure about in geometry, you can send a WhatsApp picture, a clear one, to this number. Then we will look at it, make a video for you, and post it for free on this channel that other people can benefit from your question. Feel free to ask.